hey guys welcome back to drew tutorial and if you're new a special welcome to you now guys in today's video i'm going to show you how to fix performance issues after upgrading to windows 11 23 h2 and, and in order to know if you have this version all you have to do just simply right click on the windows icon on your taskbar and click on run then you want to type win ver and just click enter and this will bring up the windows version of your computer now you can see under my version here that i have the 22 h2 but if you have the 23 h2 you will see basically that it's shown you the 23 h2 now let's click out of this now what you want to do now is to take the steps to try fixing this issue you want to click on the windows icon again and simply type powershell right then you want to right click on this and run it as administrator go ahead and click yes and ensure that once powershell is open you want to ensure that you're on the c drive windows 32 fall apart right now i'll be sharing two commands within the description of this video no so you simply want to run these two commands so i'm going to simply run the first command here then i am going to just simply press y to accept all then enter and the second command that I will run here, as I mentioned, I will put in both of these commands within the description of this video so you can run them. So go ahead and press that. And then all you have to do is just simply move on to the next step. Now, guys, you can simply close out of the PowerShell. And what you want to do now is just simply click on the Windows icon again and type CMD. And you want to run this as administrator as well. Go ahead and choose yes to open up the command prompt in administrator mode. And you want to type sfc space forward slash scan no. You want to allow this to run the scan. It will take a few minutes to complete. Now once this is done guys, you will see that it says Windows Resource Protection did not find any integrity violation now you want to go ahead and close this and simply restart your computer now after your computer is restarted go ahead and click the lower right hand side you want to click to show hidden icons and then you want to click on this windows shield here now once this is open on the left hand side you want to click device security then under core isolation you want to click the core isolation details here and then under the memory integrity, you want to simply turn this on. Go ahead and select yes. And then all you have to do, guys, is just simply restart your computer. Now, once you restart your computer, this should in fact help to fix those issues that you're experiencing with performance issue after upgrading to the Windows 11 23 H2 version. Now, guys, I really hope you found some value here within this video. And if you do, Go ahead and give this video a like and let me know in the comments below if this was helpful to you in solving your issue. And as I said, if you're seeing the channel for the first time, welcome to Drew Tutorial. I am Andrew and I'm very happy to have you here. And I'd really appreciate if you subscribe to this channel to help grow this community. And also so that you will never miss out when I release another helpful tutorial just like this one. Thank you very much and see you next time.